Agility training is a dog and owner activity that is becoming popular coast to coast. I'm here with Karen Rowe of the Contact Point Agility Center. And Karen, you know, we're always trying to find fun things to do with our dogs. And what I really like about agility training is as I watch the dogs, I see the dogs having a great time. But most importantly, I see the owners having a lot of fun too. Now, there are a lot of different types of obstacles on the agility course. We're only going to be covering one today. What are we going to cover? Um, we're going to be looking at the jumps. We have three jumps. We have the non-wing jump, a wing jump, and the broad jump. Now, non-wing jump. What, what is a non-wing jump? A non-wing jump is the most basic jump. It just has two uprights with a pole that the dog jumps over in the middle. Mm -hmm. And the wing jump usually has an obstruction on either side. Today, we're going to be looking at the barrels as the obstruction. And the broad jump is just a long and low jump that requires the dog to jump a longer distance rather than a higher distance. Let's get jumping. Great. Joel, this is Barbara. Hey, Barbara, how are you doing? And Barbara has AJ. He's an eight-year-old Old English Sheepdog. What we'll do is we'll have Barbara um, go ahead and take AJ down this row of jumps. She'll walk over the over. jump with him, go. telling him over. over. There we go. And she's going over at the over. same time the dog is. Right. It makes it time. just a little bit easier Let's the first back. few times Let's that you try it. Okay. Now, when she when she goes to the jump and the dog goes over the jump with her, she's using the word over. Does it matter what word people use? No. Usually we say over. Um, but other people say jump or hop, anything is, as long as the dog knows that that's the over or the jump command, it works. And as long as they're real okay. consistent, they want to, I want to also make sure that they use the same word over and over again, whether it's jump or hop or whatever it is, right? Right. Now the height, I'm looking at the height here. Um, how do we determine the height of the jump? What you do is you have, you measure your dog at the top of their withers and the withers are the top of the shoulder blades. Mm -hmm. So this dog is about 23 inches at the withers and his jump height is 24 inches in competition. Now we don't start him at 24 inches, we have to start him lower at 12. And as he gets a little bit better and more confident, then we'll go ahead and we'll raise him up in maybe four inch increments over a matter of weeks. I mean, how long have you been working with this dog on, on, these, on these jumps here? He's been doing um, the jumping for a few weeks. Great. Beautiful. So what's next? Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see the broad jump. Great. Obviously, this is different looking than the other jump. This has a lot more length to it. It's not quite as high. Right. It's a lot um, lower to the ground mm -hmm. and longer. It requires the dog to jump a big, a wider span. How do you determine the, uh, the, the length? Uh, if this dog will say jump 20 inches, you would double that jump height. And so what we've got is we've got him jumping about 40 inches. So basically, if a jog is jumping 20 inches high, then the length would be double before 40 inches. Perfect. Right. Here we have Barbara, and she's brought out Turbo. Turbo's a Shetland Sheepdog, and he's going to just show us how Wait. to do the broad jump. Wait. Okay, over. Go for it. Let's see how you go about training it. Okay. What I would probably do if if we had this dog at class and he'd never jumped before. Right would be to pull a couple of these boards away. Gotcha, okay. And then go ahead and I'll ask Barbara to jump that jump. Ready? And just using okay. the over, over command. <laughs> and then great. if he can do it and he's not having any problems, I'll maybe add one board still on its edge. Okay. She can okay, bring him back. Go over. Good boy. And she's Good just boy. using the leash to guide him and keep him in the middle. And again, she's saying the same word that she said before. Again, uh, you know, just keep things real consistent, right? With, uh, right. with the other jumps. Right. And one more time. Over. Good boy. Okay, now since he's not having any problems, what I'll do is I will put the two middle ones flat. Okay. What we're doing is just building the jump underneath the non-wing jump. We're using the pole to provide some height while he's getting used to looking at the flatter jump below it. Okay, over. Good. Good. So, the, so the viewers can kind of understand here, you know, we're, we're, we're kind of, you know, progressing a little bit. What, what time frame were we looking at here, you know, from going from where we began to like where we are right now? It can, it can go pretty quickly. You just have to judge and see how the dog is doing. If the dog is progressing and not walking on the boards, then you can just work at this pace. But as soon as they start to act confused or, or step on the boards, then you have to back up a little bit and just... Regress a little. Yeah. Now this is something that any of us should be able to do. With a lot of training and a little bit of patience, this should be a lot of fun for both owners and their dogs.